Hey, what is going on guys? It is Jiggle back again with another video today. Um, today, luckily, I am actually double uploading because I have been getting this question a lot in the past couple of days. And it'll explain a couple things on why I'm not making these types of videos. So, um, real quickly, um, if you do end up enjoying today's video, please remember to drop a like and subscribe if you're interested in GTA or GTA Online mods in general. Um, consider subscribing. And yeah, let's get right into it. So first off, with every new GTA update, mob menus like, for example, Luna or Impulse, those big mob menus that I use in my videos, they will temporarily go down. And it's only for the public users like myself and probably you included, but the devs will then go in and mess with all the options and make sure that everything is still safe. So for example, uh, if they use recovery option and they got themselves banned on whichever account they're using with like, for example, Luna, like let's say a Luna dev is testing out the Luna recovery after the new summer DLC and is banning them, then they either need to make a recovery change or they could just disable recovery temporarily and then re-release the menu but um usually recovery is pretty safe fairly on the paid menus but for example if recovery was then getting those devs banned they would take it out or you know change things about it and keep testing it to make sure it's safe for the public again and that's same with all the paid menus and some of the free menus too most of the good mom menu dev teams do this after every single update. For example, if Rockstar changed the anti-cheat and a bunch of their options within the menu were getting them banned, they would either take them out, disable them, or change them up a little bit. So when they're selling the menu or giving the menu out or promoting the menu in whatever way, they're not giving you a menu that'll get you banned. Yeah, there's obviously a ton of menus that can get you banned out there, but Luna or Impulse, some good menus to be, for example, um, you know, they don't want to sell a product that's going to get you banned and that's and that's not worth buying, you know. So with all those things considered, uh, devs currently are testing their menus, making sure that all the options are safe, uh, including recoveries, uh, going off radar. I'm guessing they would just try everything but recoveries for sure because recoveries are the number one thing that people really want to use. So recoveries or menus in general are not going away permanently. They do this after every single update. They did this during the Casino Heist and the Casino, original Casino <laughs> DLC last year during the summer. They do this every single time there's an update just to make sure it is safe. So likely in the next couple days or a week or so, most menus will be back if all their options are safe or if they need to make any changes. So Luna and Impulse and all those good big menus, paid menus that I use, they'll all be back soon. Don't worry, guys. So I've been making like, you know, some different content. Some of you guys were wondering about that or why is this and that failing for Luna? Why is this and that failing for Kittians or Impulse or anything like that? So, yeah, that's pretty much just answer all the questions that I've been getting recently um, through my comments and some of the videos. It's really because of the new update that Rockstar gave out. So, I mean, yeah. Devs are just making sure that the mod menu is still safe to use and still safe to sell just so people don't get banned and not want to have the product, you know? Because, I mean, if, if everyone hates it, then they're not going to be able to sell it well, and then they, they would be screwed. So hopefully in the next couple days we'll have Luna and Impulse back and I'll be back to making my modding GTA Online videos. I know back in my spending spree video buying all the new cars and stuff, I said that I'd be making the new yacht missions with mods or something like that. Um, I, I, I shouldn't have said that so soon because I didn't really expect the menus to take this long, but I understand that there's a lot of things to test. And, you know, they, they don't have massive teams, you know, thousands of people working on one menu. You know, it's a, usually a few people... And, you know, they they got work to do, so I'm going to let them keep doing their work. I'm going to stay patient, though, so, um, yeah, let me know what you guys want to see of different games. You know, I released that Fall Guys video earlier. If you didn't check it out, go ahead and check it out for yourself. I'm actually insane at that game. And another thing I should probably mention as well is that sometimes when these menus go down for updates like this, they'll even update and add features to the menu itself if they know it's safe or, you know, isn't, you know, a bad option, like maybe some new gun options or stuff like that. Sometimes they will do that as well. I think Impulse did that a while back um, after one of the updates, but I don't know for sure, so uh, don't quote me on that, but I know that usually during this downtime, they might even be adding some updated stuff as well, some updated data features and stuff like that and maybe some new headers or I don't know some new options 
And probably the best way to keep up with these menus and when they'll be coming back online is to either check out my channel or just to go on their websites and just wait for it to say authorization online or the menu is online. Um, you know, right now I've been looking frequently every few hours and it still says offline for Luna and Impulse. I just checked actually before I went and edited and made this video for you guys. But so far, um, yep, there's no word of when these will be going back online. But like I said, they do this every update, so it's expected. Um, I'll probably let you guys know when they're back online with a video, like I said before. And if not, uh, my guys in the Discord will probably let me know. So if you guys are in the Discord down below, I mean, we'll probably make a little mini announcement that the menus are back online or something like that. So I would also really suggest staying away from free menus that aren't. Uh, doing any sort of downtime or updating too because that is most likely to get you banned especially free menu in general are pretty high chances of getting banned so if you just go and get this random free menu out of nowhere there's a there's a pretty good chance that you're gonna do something that uh, you know isn't up to speed and is outdated and will get you banned so I would highly suggest staying away from uh, free menus and maybe even some paid menus to be honest I don't know any incredibly bad ones out there I don't really pay attention to those i just like my good ones that i have but uh, you know just double check and make sure nobody's getting banned or you know see if they have a change log and make sure that everything is up to date up to speed and that they're you know doing the things they need to do with these updates because you don't want to accidentally get a menu and get yourself banned because that could be your only account but if you don't care if you're on an alt account like a free epic games account like i use sometimes then it might not even matter to you. So, yep, that is my free warning. Uh, don't use free menus or anything that isn't up to date or up to speed uh, after this new GTA Online summer DLC update, which was honestly a huge disappointment, um, <laughs> in my opinion. I, I wish they did that Cops and Crooks thing, but obviously with all the things going on in the world, I think they had a good reason not to, and I kind of... I kind of agree with them, and I think it was a good move by Rockstar not to make it. But then again, we needed content, and we got crap content. We got yacht missions that cost $8 million to even freaking start, and a bunch of other shitty game modes that give us no payout. And some new cars. Some of the new cars are cool, though. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think of the DLC and the update. Let me know when you guys think the deal or the mod menu sorry, will go back up online. And uh, yeah, go check out my other video from earlier today, my Fall Guys video. I'm insane at that game. And, uh, yeah, if you do end up enjoying, please remember to drop a like and subscribe, turn on post notifications, and, uh, yeah, I guess I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Hey, sorry for your loss, look at what I bought, paint like Bob Ross, but it's not a draw, when that coin gets tossed, I don't catch no else, wishing well, nah.